So you want more money? I make less than everyone else in the department. Well, if I pay you more, I'll have to give everybody else a raise, too, right? <sighs> right, but so I... So you'll I still be paid less than everybody, right? Right, but... So I, giving I you a raise isn't going to really solve anything, right? <sighs> Margaret, can you push up my tea time? Keep up the good work. <laughs> he was begging for me to meet Sherry. You weren't too high on her. I had him over for a barbecue. She's nice, whatever. Then suddenly, she says that she wants this certain wine cooler. So James goes on a run. For the next 20 minutes, this girl goes on parade, flirting, prancing, bending over, real intentional, showing me the world. I just look away, whatever. And then she says, whatever you want, wherever you want, for the rest of your life. We're so excited we selected your agency. Thank you. Thank you, and I'd like to start by saying, great choice. For us, our goal is to raise the metrics of favorability and to prove to you how well we know... Microsoft. Microsoft. We've decided to come up with a code name. Welcome to Quiche. I don't get it. It's all about being together in this one big crust, whoever you are or whatever you work on. You might be better off as a pepper. You could be a chunk of ham. You could be a mushroom. I mean, what we're trying to say is all the ingredients need to come together for this thing to really work. And then we have to cook it in the oven of creativity until it bears fruit as this souffle of profitability. Yeah, exactly. And our solutions are delicious. They're exotic. Hence, you could be a Mediterranean or even a veggie quiche. So I think they, they uh, get that. Let's move on. I just want this year's company meeting to be the meeting to end all meetings. Wait, there's going to be no more meetings? It's just an anagram, Tim. Analogy check. I'm just trying to say that this is going to be a big meeting. Excuse me. You need to close the door. My office is too feeble. Strict procedures, Mr. Zuber. Yeah, guarantee the president would prefer it. I'll let you know when. I'm not staying with this guy. You can... <laughs> Mr. Ziegler. Stay inside the room, gentlemen. It's always a delicate balance on amphibious ship, Colonel, when you get a thousand sailors running taxi service for a thousand Marines. Suppose there must be a little tension? The drinking fountains got turned off yesterday, which teed off the sailors because my Marines are taking too many showers. They're taking showers because they're stacked three deep on the lower decks where the rolling makes them puke. So, yes, you get a little tension. Plus, we're getting pressure from Washington to make this exercise work with a few special problems. Like the protesters? For one. And they want us to file an environmental impact statement. What are we supposed to say? Heavy artillery shells make the daisies bloom? Mistakes are bound to be made. Yes, and one was made on their side of the fence. Colonel, if Seaman Roberts did anything wrong, he will be punished. What else are you going to get into, Colonel? Not this ridiculous investigation to whether an Amtrak was a few yards off course. No rounds were supposed to land within a mile of us. Well, in that case, sir, I guess I'll start with the Navy. We got a client meeting in 20 minutes, and they're expecting the theme. So let's whiteboard. All right, go. How about company meeting, the greatest show on Earth? Taken. Yesterday is tomorrow's past. What? Let that soak in. Who let the blogs out? Who let the blogs out? Who? 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 Who, who let, let the, the blogs out? out? Who? 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 Who let the blogs out? It's not even a theme. Who let the blogs out? Gentlemen, guys, that's not even a theme. How about we start taking this job seriously, like now? Too wordy. Come on, Barb. How about it begins here? Who are you? I'm Alex, your junior account manager. I was up till 3 a.m. putting this whole PowerPoint together. Oh, really? I like it. I like it, too. I like it, three. We don't need 20 minutes. Hey, Justin. Hey, Michael. How you doing? Hanging in. Yeah? That's good. That's good. Because I got to tell you, I'm a little shocked. 
I always saw you sort of as a man's man, but uh, I'm not judging you, but I feel a little violated. What? I'm not judging you. I'm not. But all those times we spent together watching the game, goofing off, the hugging. Yeah. Well, I just think it would have been right for you to tell me so you wouldn't think I was misleading you. Misleading me? Yeah, misleading you. Because I used to think that you were one of the guys at the time, but now, looking back, I could see that maybe you might have taken things the wrong way. I didn't take it the wrong way, Justin. That's good. Well, it looks like it's our lucky day, Skip. We're gonna get to give one of these punk pilots a flying lesson after all. For nothing, but we're really low on fuel. That son of a bitch is not gonna outfly me this time. Mm. General! You're not flying tonight, are you? No, it's been years. Ah, uh, I bet. Name some aircraft for me. No. No, wait. Who do you report to? The president. Of what? William Morris? <laughs> you know one of these decorations? You're shutting up loudmouths. It's a pleasure to meet you, General. Enjoy your evening. 